very yeah. few opportunities in our culture today for boys to develop character because we don't expect a lot from them and to, 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 and to, and to encounter leadership situations. As I watch my friends who have boys, we were at our um, homeschool co-op a few weeks ago and it was our last day of co-op. And it was so funny because all the kids were just riled up. And at one point, a group of these middle school, high school boys started fighting with one another. And I don't mean like they, they weren't angry with each other. They were just being boys, Sure, but they were throwing punches and they were pushing each other and they're laughing as they're doing it. It was so <laughs> funny. And I, I actually had to break it up because we have a lot of little kids there. Um, and I just said, I said, I understand that you guys need to do this and that, you know, it's totally fine. I said, just not here. Like <laughs> you have to go do this somewhere else. And it's, you know, one of our co-op rules, like they can't punch each other in the middle of co-op. <laughs> um, but it was just so funny to see them that they were actually enjoying punching one another and yeah. shoving each other. <laughs> and I was like, girls would never do that. That is just not a girl thing. You know, if a girl punches or hits another girl or shoves her, it's because she's angry with her, not because she's yeah. trying to prove herself as a woman. Yeah. And so as we look at what it is to be a man, that's what you're doing with trail life is you're truly training up these men or these, these young boys to become men. Mm -hmm. What, what exactly does that mean? What does it mean to teach them how to be a man? Cause obviously it's more than just loving Jesus and shaving and knowing how to put up a tent. Yeah, no, that's, that's amazing. So we use that adventure experiencing experience to develop character and to develop leadership. You know, if there was a better way, you know, when you when you read our vision statement, um, it doesn't talk specifically about what we do, but we are turning boys into godly men. If there was a better way of turning boys into godly men than using the outdoors, we would be doing that. But there's something about the outdoors and those sorts of challenges and encountering God there and nature and creation and things like responsibility. I mean, you only brought one pair of socks. We told you to bring two. Your tent flooded last night because you didn't follow instructions to set it up the right way. You know, uh, that won't happen again when those things happen because boys learn. They learn responsibility. My boys, you know, they, they, they at a very young age, uh, they, we would sit down and if we had a camping trip or even at family vacations, um, we had a dry erase board. Each one of them had a little square of a dry erase board. We say, okay, guys, write down what it is that you need to bring and then go pack it. So, so parents would say to us, your boys pack their own suitcases? Yeah, because they've gone camping and they've done their stuff for, for, for years and they understand. So they learn things like, like that sort of responsibility. Um, and, and they learn things with, through that. They're developing their character because they're learning things like, if I don't prepare myself, if I don't think about this thing, there's not, mom isn't going to swoop in on a helicopter and save me here. Right. I'm going the rest of the weekend with wet socks or a wet sleeping bag or whatever. Now, of course, we have men there making sure that they're not, that they're not getting hurt, but, but it is an opportunity for, the, for them to grow character. Or even this weekend out in Houston, we had terrible storms on, on, on Friday night, and they had to abandon the campground because of, because of lightning. Um, but, and so they didn't sleep well, and they got up the next day as a full day of activities, and they were kind of tired, but, but, but they, they, knew, they still had a great time, and they have a great story to talk about how you know, the storm came in and was blowing their tent around. And so these are great stories that develop. And then, of course, we develop opportunities. We, we start with adventure that develops character, and then it gives them opportunities for leadership. Very few opportunities in our culture today for boys to develop character because we don't expect a lot from them and to, 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 and to, and to encounter leadership situations. Now, they're looking for good, solid leadership. That's why gangs are growing as fast as they are. They're looking for really structured, solid leadership that has clear expectations. Like I said, that's why gang gangs do such a good job of helping boys to understand leadership. But, but uh, we're not giving them those opportunities that we're So in trail life, they're leading troops. They're leading their patrol. It's on them as boys to say, where are we going to find our water? Uh, today on a long hike or or who's bringing the food or who's in charge of cleanup or who's going to hang the bear bag so we don't get eaten by bears tonight and those <laughs> sorts of things uh, boys are working on together and they're electing leaders they're they're assuming their leadership roles and they're learning how to lead so we take the adventure and through the adventure we're developing their character and then also giving them opportunities to lead and that's how you're growing boys into godly men and of course the christ likeness and the Christ is infused throughout the entire program. In fact, we talk about like carrot and the carrot cake. 
You get a piece of carrot cake, you don't got big hunks of carrot in there, but there's carrot in every bite. And that's how Christ is infused throughout our program, where it doesn't feel like Sunday school and it doesn't feel necessarily churchy because some boys have had enough of that. But it feels like they're in the outdoors with men and they're encountering Christ. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 